All right, guys, so we're getting ready to put the first roller in. We got Kevin with Dynajet at the house. He's doing the install on this thing. We got us a, a big low forklift, so we're gonna do some damage with that once we get done. Have some fun. We got some cars to destroy. Absolutely get ready to make this happen, man. Dino is going in this week. So it's Tuesday, and uh, we plan on actually running the dyno by Friday. We've added some stuff to the inside of the shop, the TVs and already stuff. We already got all that stuff mounted. So we'll be able to show every bit of that here in a minute. So here we go, guys. We're getting ready to install this thing. We've added an 86 inch TV for the viewing of everybody else. We have our uh, dyno TV that actually comes out. So the, whoever's driving it. We've got us some Smurl counters up here for our Facebook and our Instagram. So if you haven't subscribed to those yet, do it. And those things click off as soon as you uh, hit the subscribe button. We're getting ready to lay this sucker. First rollers going in the pit. All right, guys, so we're loading up uh, the final uh, roller right here. So this is the main roller that has the eddy brake on it and all that stuff. So we're about to bring it into the shop. We've got the inertia roller already hooked up. We've got the track down. We've got the other parts out here. Um, you know, the fill-in boxes and everything, um, the sliders, you know, so we still got a lot of work to do. So it's coming together. And yep, I know a lot of people has been commenting about the about the uh, 48 Kenworth. This thing's got a 12 valve in it. And you bet your ass, when we get this thing done, we're gonna be running the semi and clouding this shop out. So stay tuned for that. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe now. It's gonna be nuts. All right, guys, here we come with that final roller. We got the first one all squared up, lined up, leveled up. We got the track in. Everything's already bolted in. Um, so we got both our TVs up. Uh, that's an 86 inch. That's so everybody out here watching can see. And then we also have the other one that's on a slide. So whoever's operating a dyno can tell what's going on with everything. I will tell you, this is a lot of freaking work. All right, guys, so we got the, uh, the main roller set in. She's on there. She is on there. So now we're just gonna keep on going with it. Get this thing together. We will have this thing completely done by this weekend. We will be running cars on it this weekend. You know which one's gonna work. Pretty stoked about this. All right, guys, so we are done for the day. This is day one of the dyno install. So we got the front roller in, mounted in. We got the rear track done. We got the rear roller and we got the eddy brake bolted on. So everything's initially done in that area. Everything's bolted down. So the track goes back and forth, et cetera. So 
we're going to pick up again tomorrow and continue to keep going with it. But for right now, we've made a lot of progress. Um, we're actually ahead of schedule. Um, Kevin from Dino Jets down here, he flew in from Las Vegas to install this thing. So initially, we were only supposed to get this one in and start working on the track today. But, you know, more hands, more help, faster it goes. So everything's lined up and uh, it's ready to go. So tomorrow we're gonna keep trucking and going along with it. And hopefully by Thursday or Friday, we'll be running cars on this thing. So knock on wood, but we are absolutely ready to go. We are pumped with this thing and ready to ride with it. Say hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. <laughs> Let's go.